Hello, this is Alexander and in this demonstration I will show you how to configure CA sign certificate for <clears throat> web setup and CC admin applications on Cisco Unified Contact Center Enterprise. Uh, this demonstration is uh, created based on the article that you are seeing. So it's posted on cisco.com and you can use it if I'll miss something. The very same steps are described here. The information in this demonstration was created from the devices in a specific lab environment. So if your network is live, make sure to understand the potential impact of any command. So after I said that, we can go to the configuration. So this is my uh, RGR or ROG array. And as you can see, when I'm trying to use a uh, web setup application, I see the certificate warning. So I have to go advanced, add exception, and then I will go to the web setup menus. But uh, as you know, this is not recommended. The recommended thing recommended thing to have is a certificate signed by CA that you trust. So we will do this in a video. I uh, have four steps. So first is generate CSR, second is sign the certificate on the CA, then to complete the certificate sign request and then to edit the bindings. So let's go to the step number one. For that you have to go and open IIS Manager, click on your side, Server Certificates, Create Certificate Request, populate the fields, most important one is a common name, has to match with the FQDN you type in your browser. Uh, for uh, bit length, I'm usually choosing 2K. And then I have to create the name. So the name would be web set up RGRA CSR and then finish. So open this with this this file with a notepad and copy the content to the buffer. Then step number two, open your CA, authenticate yourself, it's actually I have to add it a bit, so you have to type FQDN of the CA and cert SRV, request certificate, advanced, paste the content and select web server template. Then base 64 encoded and download the certificate. So to avoid having clutter, I recommend to rename the certificate to uh, some good name, let's say CC admin RGRA certificate. Also, I already have this, but oh, that's I forgot SRV. But you may also need, you actually need it if you don't have it, need to download CA certificate. So select base64, download CA certificate, and again rename it as CA. So now I need to transfer these certificates to the destination machine. So for me, the fastest way would be to open them in a notepad and just copy their content. 
for you, you can just transfer them over SFTP, SFTP, HTTP, whatever way you like. So here I will just create a new file, paste the certificate content, and just put a name as CC admin, and then sir, it would be good to have this. So this is my first certificate, and also I would need a root certificate. So also I'm opening. Let me check. Yeah, that was a root certificate actually. So you see, don't be confused about that. So this is my RGR certificate actually. So I use that name, and as for these two certificates, I should have web set up RGRA. This is CSR, and let me see where have I saved them. So I, this is my CSR. I don't need it. And somewhere on my desktop, I guess, there should be... Huh. Okay. Let's do it again. This is my CC admin. Ah, okay. I saved them this folder so I can just avoid repeating the same operation so I have my certificates here I'll copy them to the desktop and this is my CA so first of all install CA certificate by pressing install I would install it to my machine rather than having only for the local user click next pick trusted root certificate authority and finish so you've installed your CA certificate to this machine if this machine is a part of the domain uh, most likely uh, you would have this installed already but just showing you to make sure it is installed the second thing would be to right click copy as a path go here select complete certificate request and then select that certificate so you can just navigate to your desktop or do it this way so briefly name I would choose like Cisco ICM web setup HTTPS click OK the next thing would be to go to my sites select this default site bindings select HTTPS and choose this CA sign certificate that we just generated and specify host name which is RGRA language.local click OK close and restart your website so after restarting the website let's go and verify and I hope that now I will not see this certificate warning display it's still there so 
if it's still displayed I would go and restart World Wide Web Publishing Service. This is the service uh, that was formerly named IIS Admin. So let's go and double check our settings for the bindings. Seems like it's correct. RGRA Alevich Local. ICM Web Setup HTTPS. How I, the name that I gave it. So let's make a test one more time. Or it might be also specific to the browser. So it seems like my Firefox either doesn't have one option that I'm about to verify or I have to clear the cache because as you can see in the Internet Explorer I do not have such warning so the certificate is signed to Alevich-DC12-CA that's good so let's verify that I do have my certificate authority uploaded and added to the separate trust store that Firefox has. So here we have this CA. So I will select trust, identify websites, email and software developers. You can just select the first one. So it is there as you can see let's verify now and yes the problem was that I didn't have CA certificate CA root certificate installed in the separate trust store and separate store that Firefox is using so thank you for watching and I hope that was useful